is our tastic, and today we're going to use our beautiful mark makers, whatever you want, whether it's felt markers or wax crayon. You can even use oil pastel. But grab something that you love to make art with, and let's make some art. Okay, so to begin our jack-o'-lantern, we're going to draw the top of the pumpkin. So we're gonna do one curved line and below toward the bottom of the paper, a second curved line or kind of like a U shape. Next, we're going to do two letter C shapes. One is backwards, of course, and that's gonna start the sides of our jack-o'-lantern. And then we need to do two smaller ones. Just like that. And around your pumpkin, you can add some zigzag lines for some grass texture if you would like, or you can add some other spooky things like ghosts, maybe some bats, gravestones, we could do that with a curve line. Second cur curve line. Add some interesting details such as words, you can do cobwebs, whatever you want, maybe some cracks. Maybe this is a very old one. Okay, so you can add all the details that you want. Then we're gonna add the stem to our jack-o'-lantern. So we're gonna draw an oval with two kind of crunchy lines for some spooky texture and some equally crunchy lines down the center and a squiggle at the top. Okay, now that we got that done, we need to design a wonderful jack-o'-lantern face. So we're gonna draw a triangle on either side. Add a diagonal line in each eye. color in part of the eye. And now we're gonna do a spooky mouth. So we're gonna draw one long curved line, a letter U on each corner of the mouth. And then we're gonna draw straight lines or vertical lines or hatching lines across the mouth to make it extra spooky. And of course, we are now ready to color. And here we go. So we are going to use whatever mark making mediums that we want to color with. I'm gonna use felt markers and wax crayons today and you pick what you want. So first, color in your pumpkin. Color in the stem, so just the front of the stem with brown. We'll do some highlights and lowlights and other details with our wax crayons after. You can color in your gravestone. Again, I'm gonna leave highlights and lowlights for wax crayon. 
And same with the grass. So now I'm oh, gotta grab the yellow because we gotta do the, the nice glowing detail in the eyeballs. Isn't that great? All right, let's get our low lights and highlights done with some wax, cray wax crayons. Perfect, so first I'm going to take my green and I'm gonna add some green to my grass. You can choose to do all of it or just the bunches, it's up to you. I'm going to use blue for shading today. So sometimes we can use black, or a lot of time we often think that black is the most perfect choice for shading, but you can use other things for shading too, such as blue or purple or brown. So today we're going to play with some blue for shading. And I can use that blue around the eyes to make them more spooky. Along the mouth. And you can just see how much more dramatic it is as soon as you start doing that, right? So anywhere that the jack lantern has overlapping parts, we can add some blue to it as well. And of course the blue doesn't look very blue anymore, right? It looks almost black. I mean, it's very different here and here, if you look. See? Er is magic. I just love adding some whirling textures. Get creative, it's Halloween, right? That's what it's all about. Okay, I'm gonna use a yellow for in the stem here. And now I'm gonna grab a white wax crayon and here we go for highlights. So a lot of the times I use my pencil crayon but often I'm a lot more drawn to the wax crayon because it's easy and I don't have to sharpen and quite frankly I can get the same effect. So add some highlights with some wax crayon. So easy. And look at, it makes it look magical, doesn't it? All right, and once you've done all that, your lovely jack-o'-lantern that's perfect for Halloween or a display in your house is done. Artastic Nation, that's the end of this episode. Tune in every Tuesday evening for the premiere of the next episode, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. For more art tutorials, visit my blog at MsArtastic.com. Teachers, find my creative, high-quality art resources in my TPT store, Ms. Artastic. Finally, you can receive free art worksheets for kids by joining my newsletter by simply clicking the first link in my video description. All links are available in the description of this video. See you next time.